Well, we just found out it's now going to cost you more to park on Jacksonville Beach on the weekend, on holidays and during festivals, and it starts this weekend. First Coast News reporter Brittany Dion is live at Jack's Beach to explain why and just how much more you will have to dish out. Well, that's right, Anthony. Starting this weekend, this parking lot that I'm standing in here on 2nd Street North will cost double for those wanting to use it. It's actually one of four parking lots here in Jacksonville Beach that will have a rate increase. If you had to pay to park at Jacksonville Beach, how much would you pay? Five dollars. Highest would be five. On weekends, holidays and during festivals, it's now going to cost Jack's Beach visitors 10 bucks per car per day to park. That's double the current rate. In a five to one vote, Jacksonville Beach City Council approved the price hike, citing private businesses and other venues around town charge way more. So you don't think this will be a deterrent to people coming to the beaches? I don't at think all? so. I mean, I go to the Jumbo Shrimp games and I go to the Jaguar games and I'm usually paying $20, $25 to park. Mayor Charlie Latham says the cost of overtime pay for city officers to secure parking lots during big events is also a huge expense. Council member Keith Doherty voted against the rate increase. We don't have a pricing problem. We have a parking problem, a lack of. According to the city website, Jack's Beach currently has a little more than 1,000 parking spaces. Doherty says parking garages would make more sense, adding spaces and creating more revenue. But we need to be fair also. You know, uh, I think just $10 flat fee is a little excessive. This visitor agrees. I will find free places to park. Which is one of Doherty's concerns, that visitors will simply park in residential areas and walk. Mayor Latham says the city has a plan for that too, by giving local residents parking permits. need to worry parking for you will continue to be free. All you'll have to do is prove that you are a local resident here at Jacksonville Beach. Reporting live from Jack's Beach, I'm Brittany Dion, First Coast News.